So, um, thanks. I, I have been really excited about uh, regaining all of my health. You know, I got to the point where now I'm I'm doing great. And the other morning, about well, early, it, um, like three in the morning, I noticed that the windows were open and the fan was on and some really cold air was blowing on me and my throat was starting to get cold. And I just said, well, cold air can't hurt me. And I woke up a couple hours later and, and now I have a cold, a sore throat and a cold. <laughs> <laughs> so much for that, that idea. <laughs> And I just should have known better. I it was have taken. I don't really even have to get out of bed to close the windows. I can just reach up and, you know, it's just. But I just should have known better, and so. Yeah, I think that's a good statement to start with. You want to question that one? I should have known better. Yeah, I should have. I should have just done it, or I should have known better, or something to that effect. You know. Okay. Which one feels closer to you? I should have just done it or I should have, I should have just done it. I should have, should, I should have just closed the windows. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Thank you. Yeah. So is that true? You should have just closed the windows. <laughs> well, yeah, I wouldn't have a cold. <laughs> I guess that's another <laughs> worksheet. <laughs> but anyway, uh, so can you absolutely know it's true? I should have just closed the windows. No, because I, I can't 100% know that the, the cold came from that. I mean, I can't 100% know that. So how do you react? What happens when you think you should have just yeah. closed the windows and you didn't? I, I berate myself for not listening to my intuition. Um, then I go and I overanalyze the whole situation. Then I say, oh, I... I must have unconsciously decided I want a cold because I'm believing that, you know, believing that cold air can give me a cold. Um, I think of other times when I had the thought I should or shouldn't do this and I didn't listen to it and, and it didn't go well. <laughs> my, my first thought that I should or shouldn't do that if it's a gentle voice it is usually right on and the, and I and I apparently don't have any resistance to telling my gentle voice to be quiet it's the noisy voice in my head that I seem to listen to and that it doesn't always send me in the right direction <laughs> <laughs> so so you know it it reminds me that you know I'm <sighs> not listening, you know, to the right voice. And then I think in the past of the times that, you know, I thought, oh, I, I should take this exit or whatever. And I just dismiss it. And then boom, I'm in two hours of traffic or just something that I could do or say and backfires or not do or say. and. And then I project out in the future that I'm just gonna, gonna not pay attention. I'm still gonna only listen to the bad girl voice. <laughs> <laughs> you know? and, and then I get frustrated. I treat myself like, geez, Wendy, what are you doing? You know, and uh, you know better, right? And. And then I tell myself, well, you know what? You really weren't going to get a cold, but you made yourself get a cold to punish you for not listening. I mean, I had all this mind chatter about that I didn't listen. I should have, you know, should have listened. Um, I suspect, I don't know that I treat other people any differently. Um, I don't know that I'm that easy to get along with to begin with. So if I've got a cold, it's probably good that I'm not communicating with others. 
Although for some reason I'm feeling kinder lately. That could have been all the work I've done. <laughs> yeah. But I'm not kinder to myself. That That's what's interesting. Right? I, I berate myself like, you had this thought. It was a gentle thought. And you could let it go. And then, and then I'm... You know, I've had a cold before and I just usually ignore it or just take better care of myself for a couple of days and it goes away. But no, I got to beat myself up because mm -hmm. now I earned this. I deserve this because I didn't listen and, you know, not do the things that. That I would probably do if I was taking care of myself instead of punishing myself for not taking care of myself. <laughs> and I live in that little circle there. Yep. That's all I can think of right now. Okay. So who would you be without the thought? I should have just closed the window. Okay, so I'm laying there and this cold wind is coming down on me. <clears throat> And I notice that the window's open and I don't close it. I turn over and go back to sleep. Mm -hmm. And then I wake up with a sore throat and a cold. And my first thought is, oh, yeah, that's what happens when I have cold air blowing on my face all night. And I would just be, I would just notice it. And then I would take some Benadryl and make myself some honey tea and be glad that I have some time off and snuggle with my doggie <laughs> and have a cold. Mm -hmm. <laughs> just have a cold. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Hmm. Oh. Wow. Yeah, there'd be no resistance to it. It'd be like fighting with gravity if these are the laws of nature. Um, and I would, I, I would probably have the thought, oh yeah. Now, I, now I know for sure that cold air can give me a cold. I also don't know if I didn't already have a cold, and it's a coincidence. So I would just accept that all those are possible. And now I have one. Ta-da! Hmm. And then treat myself well. Snuggle with my dog. Tell my husband how wonderful he is. Yeah, and put on my fuzzy slippers and get all comfy. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Yeah, pamper myself a little bit. And just let let my body do its healing without berating it. Yeah, it'd be peaceful. So. Okay. Anything more before we go to turn around? Well, it, I'm questioning whether my symptoms would have been a lot because my symptoms weren't like life-threatening or anything but I wonder if my self-beration is that a word anyway um intensified my experience of the symptoms hmm. I analyze too much sometimes <laughs> <laughs> well I think you just you just showed in your question answer to question three and then your answer to question four what a difference thinking your thinking did on your experience your subjective mm -hmm. experience i don't know about the physical but at least the 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 yeah there's a difference i i'm getting the difference between thinking and noticing there's a difference because thinking is really just punishment for 
or some behavior or thought or something like that. But noticing is very neutral compared to thinking being um, sided. There's a, a side gets taken with thinking. Yeah. 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 Like the difference between noticing that you overate and berating yourself for overeating, right? Like one is, right. one is just noticing. It's kind of neutral. The other is it's stressful because I'm really exaggerating and I'm going looking for blame, blaming. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Yeah. 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 It's peaceful. And I have a cold. Mm -hmm. <laughs> like there's <laughs> two ways to have a cold. One is <laughs> having a cold just simply, or the other is being super stressed about and having right. a cold. <laughs> right. Like, All right. So how would you turn the thought around? I should have just closed the window. I shouldn't have just closed the window for the opposite. Because I didn't, first of all. And second of all, um, I wouldn't have done the work on something like this. Hmm. And seen how much um, I could let go of self judgment and abuse in my mind. It's, um, there's some validation in just that I decided not to, and then just, just respect that. Yeah. Right. Whether it was the right or wrong one, it was my decision at the time. And I can just respect that at the time that was a decision I made and I don't need reasons. I can just accept that. And just then it becomes another data point. Okay. So right. now yeah. I, I did it this way this time I did it. And, and I learn. Yeah. Interesting. Okay. So any other examples why you should have closed the window? Why you, sh uh, sorry, why you, uh, shouldn't, I shouldn't it. have just closed the windows. Like any, any other advantages of not closing the windows, any other ways that it serves you? I had nice, cool, fresh air all night. And, and it was, um, it was very nice because we just had a bunch of hot weather. And so feeling that cool air coming down on me was actually a nice experience. Yeah. It also brings out how it's understandable that you didn't close the window, right? Because yeah. there is something nice about that cool air. And yeah. <laughs> I don't know about you, but I sleep better with cool around me. I do with cool. This, yeah. Yeah. So I shouldn't have just closed the windows. Um, I shouldn't have. I I shouldn't have closed the windows. I might have just gotten another blanket or pulled the blanket over my head. <laughs> <laughs> right. right. <laughs> or even adjusted the, you know, there's, <clears throat> but I shouldn't have closed. I shouldn't have not closed the window. Shouldn't have closed the window. No, I shouldn't have closed the window. <laughs> uh, oh, you should be in here sometimes. It's it, yeah. There's a window yeah. open in my head. <laughs> I get it. Yeah. Uh, how about like another way to play with should or shouldn't for me is like how is it understandable that you in the middle of the night would not close the windows? Oh, I like that, and it, and I have an immediate um, thought. If I got up to close the windows and it was the middle of the night, my chances of falling back to sleep were pretty slim. And so, you know, at one o'clock in the morning, I, you know, um, that would not have been enough sleep for me. And so part of the unconscious decision was 
I don't want to do anything that makes me wake up too much. Yeah. So there was a protective intention there of getting enough sleep. It's cool. And believing that that both I will probably get a cold or, you know, if I get enough sleep, it won't be a bad cold <laughs> or, or maybe I won't, you know. Mm -hmm. There are two factors, right? There's the sleep factor and then there's the cold air factor. And you went with the sleep factor as being more important. Totally understandable. Yeah. I did have the thought, okay, I can get up and close the windows. Is my bladder full? And if my bladder had been full, I probably would have gotten up and closed the windows and gone to the bathroom and then, you know, just worked at falling back to sleep. But yeah, so there was a benefit to just staying in the bed and not losing sleep. Makes sense. And at that moment, I weighed it. And just because later I weigh it a different way, the way that I weighed that option at that time was the right thing. It was intelligent. It was, yeah. it was, it made sense. And, um, <sighs> so that's, that's beautiful because it's your, it's you finding understanding for you at that time when you made that decision, as opposed to you berating yourself for making right. that decision. So I don't, I don't, I don't make decisions to punish myself. It's, I don't, you know, I'm not, I don't self-flagellate or anything on purpose. <laughs> right. Right. Yeah. Right. I, so, so, if that what it was exactly not, you know, from a standpoint of it not being a mistake, I made a choice. And I got I got good sleep. So, you know, there's a possibility that this cold would have been worse if I had not gotten good sleep or something, you know, maybe no. I had the cold anyway, again, you know, not it wasn't the cold air. Maybe, the you know, I don't know. I'm just making stuff up about it. Mm -hmm. and then berating myself there, you know? Hmm. So the cool thing is that the, what you did is done, right? Okay. It's now out of your control. It's now just a part of reality as it, as it happened. And so this turnaround just helps to adjust to that reality, get in, become okay with it because it happened. There's no going we back get, to change it. We get so shaded on the perspective and yeah. just, you know, the, where you have me in that moment, even if I say no to the thought I should or shouldn't do it in that moment, that's how I feel. Yep. Yeah. And that's where the noticing can come back in like, okay, next time I'm, I, there's more things that I'm aware of. And I might make the decision differently based on my experience from this one. But no mistake, this was this was where I was at that point, And it made sense. And maybe it'll make sense. I'll do the same thing again. Yeah. Or maybe I'll try a different way. But there's nothing wrong. You're, it's like you're just exploring. Right. And, and I can have fresh air in my room without it. You know, I could check the windows before I go to bed. <laughs> exactly. I mean, there's just, exactly. you know, there's just so many ways of looking at it and then just accepting. Oh, yeah, I did that. Right. And I got a cold, so that's true. I can't 100% tell you that I got the cold from the cold air. And so I shouldn't have. Shouldn't have done anything different than what I did. And once I've done it, that's wasting time, isn't it? Wow. Okay. Let's try another turnaround.
Okay, so I should have just closed the windows. Is there another turnaround? I should have just closed my mind. Okay. I should have turned it off. I should have stopped thinking about it, weighing it. If I felt that I needed sleep, go back to sleep. Sounds like that's what you did. Yeah. And then when I woke up in the morning and realized I had a cold, I would not, by closing my mind to the circumstance, I would not be looking for the cause of my cold in a way that I could berate myself. Yeah. That's where it really applies when you woke up. Yeah. That's when to, when to close the windows of your thinking a little bit. <laughs> exactly. So just close your mind and shut it down and just have a cold. Yeah. <laughs> you opened the, the mental window and the cold mental air got in. You got a mental cold on top of a physical cold. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's the male male. Ah, yeah. Mystical person. I don't know. <laughs> okay, so can I can hear it, but that's fine. Okay. Um, Thanks, Pup. Okay, any other turnarounds? I'm not sure if there are, but um, I should have just closed the windows. Let's see. I should, I shouldn't have closed my mind. And there's not really an other, but um, I'm looking for a living turnaround or an unusual turnaround. I'm, I'm going to go into a weird place with this, but it's where it, the thoughts taking me is twofold. Number one, and this sounds weird, but um, I've been worried about getting a cold before that happened. Hmm. So I had cold on getting a cold on my mind already it wasn't just because the windows were open or because cold air was coming in yeah yeah and so, so living around would be um or an unusual turnaround would be that if I have the thought that I would, I would respect that at the time that I'm having it and not let it play out so that I can, you know, because my thought first was, oh, I feel like I might be coming down with a cold. And then I did not do anything to, to prevent that. You know, I could have taken some vitamin C, you know, closed the windows. I could, there were a lot of things I could have done that I just brushed off. Interesting. So, so the, the windows next... become a smaller part of the, of the thing. It's like, right. what could you do to prevent a cold once you start it coming on? When you see it coming on, what are the other things you could do in addition to windows that could help, right? That's, that's... Mm -hmm. That's a different way of looking at it. Now it's suddenly not just, oh, I should have closed the windows. It's okay. I noticed yeah, yeah. this. There might be ways for me to avoid that cold. Exactly. The matter of trusting the quieter part of my mind. Mm 